back to elections related news now and the IEC is expected to release the final results this evening. And what we have witnessed so far is that most political parties will be forced to form coalitions between, uh, because there's no one party that has really done well in many municipalities. Our reporters are stationed at different parts of the country. Heidi Jokos is in Limpopo. So let's check in with Heidi. We'll also be checking in with Mangoba Mkunu at some stage, who is in Mahikeng, as well as Govan Whittles, who is in Kabecha, which is proving to be quite interesting as it was again in uh, 2016. Heidi, from Limpopo, there are a number of those municipalities that we were watching um, because the outcome was already pointing towards a more um, cooperation, coalition situations. As we near the tail end of the counting and collation processes, is that trend still expected to hold? Yes, so we do know officially there are two hung municipalities in Limpopo. It's um, Modimele Mokopong as well as Tabazimbi. Uh, and this was expected uh, to last because this is what we saw in 2016 local government elections. Uh, but we are in Modimele Mokopong where this is a hung municipality. And uh, we do understand that uh, the ANC was unable to get over 50%. The DA sitting at about 20 something percent. The EFF also coming in and the Freedom Front Plus making inroads here. But we are joined by the former mayor, Marlene van Staden. Thank you so much, uh, Marlene. Thank you. Uh, thanks for joining us on ENCA. Just speak to us about uh, your overall sense about uh, the results of these local government elections. The DA um, not being able to hold that position when it comes to a male candidate, or we're not sure what's going to happen, but just your overall sense of those results. Yes, I must say overall, I'm a bit disappointed and angry. Some of the residents of Mori Moli Mokopong, I really felt that over the past five years, we've really given them a taste of what it could be like to live under a DA-led government or a DA majority government. And I thought that the work that we have done, the turnaround of this municipality, transparency and the, the whole project that we drove, anti-corruption, for service delivery, that the electorate of the municipality would really see what we've done and rewarded us um, at the ballot boxes. But unfortunately, we're sitting in the same position as we did in 2016. The municipality is still hung. The DA did not get a majority at the moment, but at least we live to fight another day. And I'm quite sure that the electorate is going to learn very quickly that what it was like to live under a DA-led government and what it's going to be like again under an ANC government would give them the same reasons that they had in 2016 to vote the ANC out. Would you say as a mayor you addressed some of the issues? We've been speaking to uh, residents here that have highlighted water, sanitation, uh, electricity as a huge concern in this community. Do you feel as a mayor you were able to address that? I absolutely feel so. I think if you speak to every single person that lives in Morimoli and in Parameng, they'll tell you that we really sorted out the water crisis. People now get water daily and we don't have these situations where buildings get burned down and there's strikes every week because people don't get water. We've not had any of that in five years. So I really feel that we did a lot. We actually published what we call a blue book with 15 pages of bullet points, of all the things that we've done from 2016 to 2021. And I'm very proud of what the municipality have been able to achieve and what I've been able to achieve as a mayor over the last five years. Speak to us about your coalitions or working relationships with either the ANC or any other political party as this is a hung municipality. Are you going to be able to work with the ANC? So from my side, I really can't comment on any of that. So coalition agreements are done by national, so it's a FedEx decision. And as a councillor in this municipality, I'm not going to have any say about who we'll work with, what we'll work with. But you know, overall, the DA is always willing to work with other municipalities or, sorry, other political parties that have similar ideas to what we have. So if we can come to an agreement with a political party that have similar vision to what we have for this municipality, I'm sure they can come to some sort of agreement. But it's not something that, unfortunately, I can comment on. I'm not part of any of those kind of negotiations. It's all done at a FedEx level. Okay, and just lastly, you lost a war to the Freedom Front Plus. 
Yes, unfortunately, I'm very sad to say that we've lost Ward 5 to the Freedom Front Plus. It's very disappointed. I was really hoping that the DA would be able to keep that ward. The good thing is, however, that we did not lose a councillor. So we had seven councillors from 2016, and we still have seven councillors. So our support stayed pretty much the same. We were hoping to increase it, uh, but unfortunately, it stayed what it was in 2016. Okay, great. Thank you so much, and we wish you all the best. Uh, so let's hopefully there will be some kind of resolution and uh, a conversation with these political parties as this is one of the hung municipalities here in Limpopo. As you heard, the former mayor saying that they were unable yeah. to increase their support here in Modimole Mokopong, but of course they uh, retained their support and hopefully uh, this municipality will be able to provide the basic services to the community here. Heidi, I'm on standby to go to a live briefing by the IEC in Guazulu Natal. In fact, we'll have the conversation a bit later on about the strong words used by the former mayor there. Hopefully, we can unpack that a little, a little bit later. But for now, let me take you to Guazulu Natal, where after days of counting and suspense, uh, the wait is over for that province. Let's